thought we had won it all But we left with battle scars Did we go too far? The walls are all closing in The world around us fading Now we're left in the dark of North Malabar are songs praising the heroic fighters, including the Chekavars. Chekavars are legendary warriors engaged in combat, often on behalf of the noblemen in the feudal system. A Chekavar is declared victorious in the duel when he kills or defeats his opponent. The combat type is color pied a forerunner to the Chinese martial art forms that originated in Kerala in the 6th century BC. Among the Chekavars, the Puthurum clan and their rival, Arangoda clan, were the most known. Puthurum clan was led by Kannapa Chekavar, his son Arumal Chekavar and his valiant daughter Uniarcha. Arumaluni is a son from a marriage to Kuniraman, Panan, somewhat like a part of the medieval Gaelic and British culture, a lower class of poets and singers, took the northern ballads forward, and now he brings the most celebrated story of all, that of Arumal Chekavar and his cousin Chandu to us. It is too coincidental that the tale of Chandu that is as starkly similar to Shakespeare's Macbeth took place even before Shakespeare's time.
salutations. Let's listen to what Panan has seen. Chandu raised his sword defensively as Malayan came close. Malayan attempted to strike Chandu's shoulder. Chandu blocked the strike with his shield, bent low and swung viciously with his sword aiming for Malayan's torso. raised his sword high and with brutal force he attacked Chandu repeatedly from both sides. Who won the fight, Parang? Chandu or Malaya? Chandu! Chandu of Elintelar Matam, the brave warrior of Kalari. Chandu wetted his sword with Malayan's blood, his father's murderer. When the duel was over, the noble lord, the underlord and the vassal honoured him by presenting him with silk and a gold bangle. <laughs> have you heard? We have just been informed by Parnan. Lady Luck was with Malayan, smiling cruelly at Chandu as if she were his whore. But brave Chandu, laughing at Luck, chopped his way through to Malayan, who didn't even have time to bid farewell or shake hands before Chandu split his throat. The valiant Chandu has guarded the honor of Puturam Kalari. Our Lieutenant Chopin teamed with Malen and helped him instead. Despite being our Lieutenant at the Kalari, how dare he teams with our enemy? His doings are unpardonable. I must meet with Chandu. Where is he? Open your eyes. Tell me what you see now. Hail to you, Chandu of Elantalar Matam. Hail to the Lieutenant of Arumal Chekavar. I am not the Lieutenant of Arumal Chekavar. Hail to you, Chandu. Hail to the future Chekavar of the eighteen and a half Kalari. Me? The Chekavar of the eighteen and a half Kalari? But that is Arumal. How interesting. Why do you seem so shocked listening to the lady's kind words, Chandu? You have enticed my noble friend Chandu by predicting his future and all the accolades he will receive. You do not speak to me. Possibly you could predict my future too. You shall not become a Jekavar, but your descendants will. So all hail Chandu and Kelo. 
Wait, wait. Tell me everything. How will I become the Chekavar if Aromal is still alive? And isn't Chopin his left on it? Are we to believe all what we heard, or is this some sort of an illusion? We should have made her foretell more. Do you not believe her? Your son will be made the Chekhovar of the eighteen and a half colliery. Yes, but not before you become the Chekhovar. Didn't she say that first I will be made lieutenant to Aroma? Chandu, the great warrior who defeated Malin, Kannapa Chekhovar has sent us to thank you and to bring you to him. Has the Puturam family forgotten the old stories? Or have they now realized that Chandu is superior to Kunjiraman. The old tales are for Panan to sing about. Members of the Putram family have not asked us to bring you them for nothing. Then for what? From now on, you are lieutenant to a Putram Chekava. Hail the most worthy lieutenant. Is the prophecy coming true then? But isn't Chopin the lieutenant there? Why should I take over his title? Why should I wear borrowed robes then? Chopin is no longer the lieutenant. He's lucky that Arumal hasn't killed him yet for deceiving and joining forces with Malin in the duel. Um, I beg your pardon, I was distracted. Please proceed. We shall be with you soon. How can Chandu be my lieutenant? You need him, Arumal. You need a lieutenant as valiant as Chandu to defeat a mighty warrior like Arangodar. There is none better than Chandu today. He has mastered the techniques of Kalari. But it was I who objected to the marriage of Unni Archa and Chandu. I am certain he is still nursing that wound and won't be willing to forgive me. Instead, he will make use of the opportunity to deceive me. No. He couldn't do that being the righteous person that he is. Those who anoint me their lieutenant will also make your son the Chekhovar. Would you believe that? If you believe in the prophecy, then you might also be hoping to become the Chekhovar one day. Be warned then. Wizards often end up revealing partial truths to lead us into destruction. While there are elements of truth in their prophecies, they are dangerously misleading and rather mysterious. If fate deems me to be the Chekhovar, then fate will also help me realize it. And I need not do a thing. I know I have wronged you, Chandu. How do I mend my ways? I beg your forgiveness. From now on, Chandu, my brother, you will be my lieutenant. I pledge my trust and allegiance to you, to the 18 and a half Kalari, to this land and its people, and I pledge to assist Arumal in all his duels. Our next duel is with Aring Order. With you by my side, I have become more confident and courageous. With Aring order? Hmm. I was not aware. I have accepted the money for the duel, under the guarantee that you will be my lieutenant. Kurungatid Amuni Konar visited in search of a valiant Chekavar to settle his dispute with his brother.
do well. Kelu, from now on, you shall be present to be of service to Chandu. Yes, my lord. Archas and Aramaluni will succeed me as the Chekavar. Chandu could continue as his lieutenant then too. Can't he, father? Yes, indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Arumaluni is in my way. He could crush my ambition to become the Chekavar. I will either have to get rid of him or concede. Oh, stars, hide your fires. Let light not see my black and deep desires. <laughs> കല്ലോളി ചാർത്തും ആയില്ലപ്പൊൻ മണി വീണ കുഞ്ഞു Archer? Archer, why are you sitting here and not at the serpent ritual? The ritual was making me sleepy. I heard the sound of metal. Where did that come from? Mm, perhaps you heard bells tinkle from the serpent ritual. Possibly. Who doused the lamp? Nobody did. A beetle fell on it. <laughs> have you any idea how very much I have longed for this? Yes, have I. Do you not remember how you had tricked me into believing these exact same words in the past and you got married to Kunjaraman? Do you not realize that the hands and feet of women are tied? A wise man like yourself ought to forgive me. When my brother returns victorious from the duel, I would be your woman. When Arumal enters the duel arena, you must be there alongside him. When he asks for a change of sword, offer it to him from his left. 
Are you teaching me how to fight now? Archer! <laughs> Let me go. Wait. Don't go. Archer! Once again, seducing and overpowering me. Kutimani, I saw a sorceress after winning the duel against Malian. And I have since learned that they have celestial knowledge. She had foretold that I will be conferred the title of Lieutenant to Aroma. And that in time, I will be anointed the Chekavar of 18 and a half colliery. Within hours of the prophecy, I was greeted with the news that I was chosen as Aromal's lieutenant. Going by the events looks like the prophecy is coming true. If that is the case, then I want you to be with me in my days of fortune. Bury this in your heart. I have come to hear that Chandu has been appointed the lieutenant to Aromal. Is that so? Yes, it is true. Has father heard about this? I should think not. Chandu, you are now the lieutenant at the Kalari. Tomorrow you will be made the Chekavar of 18 and half Kalari. But I fear your nature. You're full of the milk of human kindness to strike aggressively as the first door opens up. You do want to be great. And you're not without ambition. Yet you lack the ill will to carry forward with your ambitions. You do not want to play foul. And yet you want what is not yours. Your answer is in me. So hurry home to me. And let my words persuade you out of everything that is preventing you from chasing your dream. Destiny and witchcraft both are conspiring to make you the Chekavar. Good to money. Why have you come to the altar and lit the lamp at such an odd time? Uncle Aringodar, I caution you to be very careful in this duel. Why? I need only use half my fighting skills to defeat Aromal. But Chandu is the newly appointed lieutenant. All your skills won't be enough to win the duel. Chandu is the lieutenant. My uncle will not be defeated. I won't allow it. Let everyone hear what brings us here. Two brothers from a place named Kurungal, one older and one younger, are contesting their seniority. Both claim to be the older brother. The gods were brought in to clear the air by offering the deities gold and silver. The midwife who had delivered them both were consulted and she too couldn't solve the riddle. Finally, when they approached the noble lord, the noble lord ordered for a duel to settle the dispute. Shall we settle the dispute with a cockfight or a duel? What would you prefer in order? A cockfight? Or a duel. Whatever the noble lord command. Wouldn't you agree? Cockfight will solve the problem, Chandanakat? I agree. We will settle it with a cockfight. Arakambule, back your opponent to death and emerge victorious! <laughs> Go and win the fight, Palam <laughs>
Yes! Yes! Aringodar is defeated in the cockfight. Can we settle the dispute now? No. We must have the duel. We must have the duel. Hasn't this fight settled your dispute? Uni Konar, Uni Chandrar. Can't we avoid the duel? As you wish, my noble lord. No, we have yet to resolve our dispute. We should duel. Hmm. There is deceit in Palam Chingan's claws. If he were honest, Arakumbulli would never be defeated. We shall settle this with a man-to-man -man duel. So be it. Ten days from now, we will host a duel. Uni Konar and Arumal against Uni Chandrar and Aringodar. Give you blood for ten days from now, until the day of the duel. Uncle Aringodar must win the duel. Chandu of Elentalar Matam has arrived. Where did you find him? How did you manage to bring him over, Kunyanuli? He was on his way to get the sword mended. When he reached Ali Malarkao, I gave him your letter without alerting anyone. He has travelled alone. <laughs> now go, hurry. Fix the barn house room to welcome him. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> oh, goddess. Let all the evil and murderous spirits enter my body and take away all my kindness and compassion. Let there be fierceness in my blood and make me less of a woman and more of a man. Thicken my blood and tighten my veins, so I won't be remorseful. Let there be no human compassion in me. That will prevent me from accomplishing my evil plan. Let my breasts swell with poison and not milk. Come, thick night. Blanket the world in the darkest smoke from hell. So my knight won't see the wound it makes. No, heaven must be down to cry. Hold. Stop the cruelty. You know I don't have parents or brothers. I only have Uncle Aringoda to take care of me. Besides him, you are the only one I can depend on. If Uncle Aringoda were to die, what will become of me? I plead with you. You must help us. My plight is the same as yours. How can I help you? Cooperate with me, and I will always be there for you. But how? You must help Uncle Aringodar. I know he can't possibly win the fight in a fair duel. And if he did? Did Aruma not betray you? To prevent you from marrying Oniarcha? And what if he did? Might ought to be matched with might. Likewise, betrayal countered with betrayal. 
In Kalari, there is no technique to overcome betrayal and deceit. What do you suggest I do? A small favor. Have you not come to mend the swords for the duel? You need to get the eye nails replaced with bamboo spikes and mold it with golden plates. Uncle Aringodar will return victorious and I shall be yours. Uniarcha has promised me the same. Uniarcha? Uniarcha again? Is Chandu a scavenger to feed on Kunni Raman's leftover? You had best scavenge the waste pit of Attu Manimil Kunni Raman's than marry her. There is nothing to think about, Chandu. What the sorceress predicted must be. Leave that to me. I will worry about how, and you must heed my words. People can all too easily read your face like a book. Your looks should deceive people. You should look like an innocent flower, but be the serpent underneath it. You are not to remain a mere lieutenant. You are the future Jacober of 18 and a half gallery. Don't you want to be the Jacober? You should look like an innocent flower, but be the serpent underneath it. Wait. Do not replace it with iron nails, but with bamboo spikes. And mold it with gold plates. Hmm? Take care of my son. Feel fear, Father. Please be cautious. Uncle Aringodar, you will return victorious. I'm certain. Victory or defeat, it is for pun to sing about. Come what may, a Chekhovah's daily bread and loyalty stays with his soul.
Rumal will not live to see tomorrow's sunrise. Stop. I feel exhausted, brother. If you're tired, we can rest tonight and continue tomorrow morning. Fair enough. Let the retinue depart then. Please carry out the orders, Chandu. Certainly. What time is it now, son? The moon has gone down. The moon goes down by midnight. Aren't you sleepy? I will sleep after the Teyam. I am exhausted and feel heavy, but I cannot sleep. Merciful powers, keep away the cursed thoughts that are plaguing me. <clears throat> Haven't you slept yet? I can't rest until Haruma has slept. The sorceress's predictions may be coming true. I do not think about it at all. Stay with me and I shall honor you when the time comes. I would dare give away what is in hand for an uncertain future. Yet, if your promise is befitting of my honor and stature, I will do anything with a clear conscience. Indeed. Please try to get some rest. We shall depart come morning. This night will change all our nights and days to come. You will not get another opportunity like this. Recollect every word the sorceress said. I dare do only what is proper of a man to do. A person who dares to do more is not a man at all. He's resting peacefully in my lap, trusting me as his friend and his kin, and I'm also his lieutenant. His well-being is my responsibility now. Then why did you write to me? Huh? That you wanted what the sorceress had professed? When you dared mention it, you were thinking like a man. And now when it is time to strike, you are trembling? Wouldn't you become the Jacobar you've been dying to become? Or would you rather live 
a coward, saying, I dare not, I dare not. Had I sworn as you did, and if I were a mother, I would have dared to dash the brains out of my own baby, tenderly sucking my breast. But what if, what if we should fail? We won't. Once you cement your courage, we cannot fail. Everyone is immersed in watching the yum. I have drugged and intoxicated all the guards. We will lay the blame of Arumal's death on his drunken guards. You will mother only boys because your fearless and evil spirit should create nothing that is not masculine. Hmm. We will kill Arumal using the Kuttabilaka and then smear his blood on the hands and bodies of the drunken guards and and lay the blame on them. Grieve loud when you hear about Arumal's death. So no one will ever suspect your involvement in the murder. Hmm. Hmm. Lead me to where I belong. Do not let the firm earth hear my footsteps. Do not let it echo back my whereabouts and break the terrible stillness of time. If it hears even the tiniest grain of sand <laughs> would cry at my actions. murdered sleep. Chandu shall sleep no more. The lieutenant shall sleep no more. This is simply your imagination. You should not be fearful. You must wash off these bloodstains from your hands. Why have you brought this Kotovilak along? It must be left there. No. Now go back and leave it there. No, I do not wish also to. Also smear the guards' hands with our See the heinous crime I've committed. I dare not go back again. You act like such a coward. Give it to me. The sleeping and dead are nothing more than pictures. Only children are afraid of painted devils. Let me leave it by Arumal's corpse. The guards must look guilty. Where is that knock coming from? What if every sound frightens me so? Whose hands are these? They're gouging my eyes out. All the water in the seven seas will not wash away this blood. My hands will instead stain the seas red.
a little water will clear us of this deed. Look, even my hands are covered with blood now. But I hate to see you afraid. The deed is nearly complete. The hymn is ending. I will leave now. People will doubt you if they find you away. Forget everything and fall asleep. Did you not sleep well last night? I did not sleep until early this morning. Has Shandu woken up? Uh, yes. Come up and... Lieutenant Chandu, is Aruman awake yet? I doubt he's awake yet. I slept during the Tayyam performance. He said we should leave early morning. It is late now. I'll go wake him up. Last night was unruly. All the lights went out by itself. The hoots of the owl, strange screams of death, sounded as if something bad were to happen. True. It was a rough night. Our Oval Chekhovar has been killed! He has been stabbed to death! such a thing! Sandhu, you shouldn't have killed them. We could have learned the truth through them. I wish I were dead before seeing Arumal killed. All is but a joke now. He went with an army and a lieutenant. The Chekover got killed by a by a mere guard. And, and that too with a kutubilak. We could have made him confess to his crime and known for whom he had killed Aromal. Come up and I agree I should have made him speak the truth before seeking revenge in this manner. But how could I be wise, furious, calm all at once? Oh, my dear Aromal. Forgive me.
this day, let it be known to the people of Puravaina that Alam Talar Matham Chandu is appointed as the Che cover of the 18 and a half colorway. Henceforth, he will be known as Chandu Gurukal, the guru who has the power to collect dual fee from all the 18 and a half calories under him. An expert and guru of martial arts, the head of the 18 and a half calorie. Please come forward and accept your post. I cannot think of returning to the Putturam Kalari without Arumal there. Aring order was the offender. His Kalari is now under my control. I shall live there. At last you have it all. The che cover of 18 and a half calorie. Lieutenant at Puthuram calorie. Everything. Just as the sorceress had predicted. I fear you have played foul to acquire all this. Kelu. Dare you imagine I would do such a thing? If we were to go by her prophecy, then my son would be the next che cover. Kelu, I need to speak to you about my plans. We'll meet tomorrow at my new colony. And please bring your son along. Fair enough. My son and I shall see you tomorrow then. What happened, Chandu? Why do you look disturbed? Nothing. You too shall join us tomorrow. Why have you invited me all too soon? I cannot comprehend. What do you see? At the corner of the moon, a vaporous drop is falling. I shall catch it before it lands on the ground. Once I work it over with magical spells, the drops shall rear spirits. That will trick Chando with hallucinations. He will spurn fate. He will scorn death. He will believe he's above. Wisdom, grace, and fear. The sorceress gave me a worn-out sword and a shield that I can't pass on to my son. If this is correct, then I have tortured my mind, murdered Aromal, and ruined my peace for Kelu's son. The fruits of my hard efforts would only reward Kelu's son. Such thoughts should have ceased the moment you did the deed. Problems and fears, without a remedy, should not be held in any regard. What's done, is done. Now we must move on swiftly. We have only wounded the snake, it's not dead yet. You must keep calm. Don't fret. Kelu and his son are still alive. My mother. 
mind is disturbed. <laughs> I am tortured by thoughts. <laughs> they are not immortals, are they? I know they can be done away with. But my heart is pacing at the thought of the prophecy. And soon this dreadful deed will be done. How? Before the bat flies through the castle. Before the dung beetle hums to tell us the time of the night. This dreadful deed will be done. What are you going to do? Bad deeds beget bad deeds. It's best that you know nothing. Do you recall what I told you yesterday? Yes, we remember. If Kelu is the one to have betrayed our order, then when the time comes, we shall seek our revenge. Kelu is my enemy as well. I could easily get rid of him, but... We have... Friends in common, and I do not wish to lose those friends. Therefore, I seek your assistance. We will see to it. But what about our lives? I will protect you. I will tell you where to hide and when to strike. But this act should be carried out tomorrow, and remember, there should be no mistakes. With one strike, you are to kill father and son. Son's death is as important to me as his, as his father's. As you wish, Chekhov. Father, forget what the sorceress told you. It is all untrue. Even when all is unfolding as the sorceress foretold. I am not enjoying this at all, this journey, this talk. Whenever there is a mention of the Kalari, I will speak about you. You are to become the next Chekhov. You are going to achieve this without fighting a duel. Father! <laughs> Why aren't they here yet? Even Komapan hasn't arrived. Is that blood on your face? Indeed. It is Kalu's blood. He lies there with 20 gashes on his body. And his son? Forgive us, Chikovar. He escaped. Leave at once.
How dare you shake your gory head at me? Listen to me. Here, he appears again. What are you doing there? Shut up, please stop. Come with me. Come, come here. What blood will have blood. There is nothing. Gravestones have been known to move and trees to speak. Calm down. Calm down. Bringing guilty men to justice. Stop. You're delirious. There's no one there. You must rest. Only one act can abate my fear now. I must go meet the sorceress tomorrow. Then I shall know the worst to come. I'm drowning in blood. Too far. Mighty soul, enter her body. Answer my questions. <laughs> she can read your thoughts, heed her words. I don't know what dark powers you serve, but I demand you answer me. Chandu, beware of Atumanamel Archa. Beware of Arumalone. You understand what I fear. Tell me. Tell me more. You must be strong, fearless, and resolute as a rock. What appears as heavy rain shall pass by as a breeze. Chandu shall not be vanquished until heavy rain and the Tulunadu forest march to fight you. That shall never be. Who can command the heavy rains and the Tulunat forest to march against this land? Now I shall rule without fear. Aren't I now skilled enough 
just sever the head off of Chandu the traitor. You know nothing about Chandu's might and his deceitful tactics, Archa. He has mastered the fighting techniques of Turunad. To defeat him, we must train hard. It was all part of his devious plan to kill my brother and take over as Chekavar. He's found love in Kutimani. Now he's killed Kelu too. If we fail to seek vengeance, the honor of Putturam Kalari will be in jeopardy. Of course, we must seek vengeance. For that, the techniques of this Kalari are not enough. We will go to Tulunad. There, along with Romalunni and Kanapununni, we'll join the Kalari of Kodabaidya. Together, we will devise a strategy. Arumal was betrayed. And he was killed. Who would do such a bloody crime? So was Kelu, but I... I must not reveal by whom. I suspect a man. A man with deceit in his eyes and soul. Am I right? I'm afraid, yes. He's a man who bears the wounds of yesteryears in his heart. He's the one who replaced iron nails with bamboo spikes. He had also bribed the blacksmith, offering him 16 coins. And it is he who purposefully delayed offering a second sword during the duel. What has happened to Komuppan? He has not turned up for the change of Kalari. I heard he reached Tulunad and that Kodi Baidya welcomed him with due respect. And he is preparing for a duel to defeat Chandu. Ask him to stay alert. I don't think Chandu will stop at this. He is dangerous. Shekhawar. Where is Komapan? I hear he fled to Tulunad. Tulunad? Y yes. Time, you acted upon your dreadful plans. From now on, I must act with haste to rid Komapan and his house. His wife. His child. Everyone. Trench my sword with their blood. Tell me. What has happened to make him flee to Tulunad? Be patient. Why should I be patient? Was he patient? This running away is madness. Often people appear traitors not through actions, but out of fear. I cannot tell whether he left out of fear or if he was wise to have left. Is it courageous for a man to leave his family behind? Where should I flee? I have done no harm. I do not have answers to your questions. Yet, I caution you to be careful if you cannot avoid this place. Chandu seems capable of anything.
and my son. your man, a takeover. Yet you're afraid. Blood. Blood. I will clean it. I will clean the blood on the Kutuvilak. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little land. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little land. Wash your hands. There is blood on your hands. Kalu is buried. He will not resurrect. Do not fear. Infected minds confess their secrets to deaf pillows. She needs a divine soul, not a doctor. Remove anything that she could use to hurt herself. Keep her under your constant watch. One who masters the craft of fighting in the rain is a real Chekhavan. He who stands firmly on slippery ground and masters the skills with great control resembles nature, falling like the drops of rain and blowing fiercely like the wind. Yes, this remains the only technique that Chandu has not mastered. Now we shall leave to meet any vassal who wishes to fix a duel. I have seen vassals going in search of Chekhavas before. This, however, is the first time that a Jacobar is searching for a vassal to fix a duel. To seek revenge on Chandu, Putturam family must fix a duel. I'm here to fix a duel, Chekavar Chandu. Is there a Chekavar remaining to take on Chandu in a duel? Yes, Putturam family. In Putturam house? Unni Archa or my uncle are both together. No. Arumunni. I do not dwell with children. He is now a fierce young fighter who has been trained in Tulunar. Unni Archa, Kanna Pachekavar and Komapan are on his side. You need to be cautious, Chandu. Why do you stand at the altar like a priest with the lamps aglow? Can Chandu not defeat Arumaluni in a duel? Say something, Kutimani. Can your gods foretell my victory and defeat? <laughs> if your gods do not know, then the devil certainly will.
This duel is detrimental of my future as the Jacobar. I'm left with no honor, no family, no friends, no real love, no real respect, nothing. I'm so lonely. People around me are cursing me in their hearts. I can no more bear the burden of hatred. Oh dear God, I'm willing to end this pitiful life of mine, but I lack the courage to. Tulnar techniques are effortless for Chandu. I will not think about what is being taught there. Until the heavy rains and the Tulnard forest come down upon this land, Chandu cannot be defeated. This is what the sorceress has foretold. Doctor, how is her condition now? She needs time. Her condition cannot be easily cured. She is troubled by visions that prevent her from sleeping. Cure her? Do not make her suffer. She is inconsolably pained. Medicines cannot cure her, Chandu. She must heal herself. What is my land's disease? Can you bring her back to health? No. Guardian gods of my Kalari, I'm not afraid. I have nearly forgotten what fear is. I have committed many wrongful deeds. Murderous thoughts no longer startle me. I'm not scared. It were after the duel or even another day. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. The days creep slowly along until the end of time. And every day that has gone by has taken fools that much closer to their deaths. Life is nothing more than an illusion. It is like a poor actor who struts and worries for his hour on stage, and then is never heard from again. Life. is a tale told by an idiot. For 
ripple of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Bakalari of Tulunad has never failed anyone. All you need is focus, nothing more. Heavy rains will continue. Carry branches from the forest to seek refuge from the rain. Everyone has forsaken Chandu. This is the right time to strike. Here comes the Tulunar forest and rain. Confidence is failing. But I shall fight. At least I'll die with my sword and shield on. shall begin in rain.
Listen, listen, here I come, singing. Thought we had won it all, but we left with battle scars. Did we go too far? The walls are all closing in, the world around us fading. Now we're left in the dark. Till the end, no matter the cost. 